Hey there everybody, it's Tony Spandrio. How's everybody doing today? Well, today I wanted to take a few minutes and talk about uh, business coaching. And should you have a business coach? And I think that, um, you know, I think this is a pretty important discussion um, as you looking to further yourself as an entrepreneur, how important a business coach might be to you. So I had my business coaching session yesterday. And uh, hey, AJ, <laughs> thanks for joining. But um, hey, guys, I want to tell you a little bit about you know my thoughts on, on a business coach. Um, and I've had a number of them um, throughout my investing career as an entrepreneur. And yesterday, you know, yesterday uh, uh, I had a really good session. Patrick, hey, there's Patrick. Patrick McConnell, how you doing, buddy? Haven't seen, haven't seen or heard from you in a long time. Hey guys, well, hey, first off, I want to thank everybody for joining me here on uh, the Facebook Live event today. And today I'm talking about business coaches and what that can do for for you. What can it can do for you to develop your business and expand your business? And um, AJ, hey, and uh, uh, yeah, do me some favor, guys, and you know, send me some likes and whatnot. Hey, Sean, thanks for joining in. So, <clears throat> talking about the business coach, and, and I'm not here, guys, to sell you the fact that yeah, I'm a business coach and I do a lot of coaching. But I want to talk about, you know, um, I had a session yesterday, and it was a, a what, what it's called a, a, a VIP session. Hey, Ken, how you doing, buddy? And and it was really great. I spent four hours with uh, a business coach. This was a uh, uh, someone that I seeked out here locally, and you know it, it was really phenomenal. I think as as we grow wiser uh, a lot. Hey, Mike, thanks for joining in, guys. You know we feel we feel pretty confident sometimes in what we're doing, and and I can tell you, and I think I've mentioned this before in one of my other sessions is, I'd be the first to say that you know there's days that I struggle too. Okay, I want you guys to know I'm human. Okay. And, and 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 we do that. Even though you guys all know I, I invest across the United States, I, I do coaching and mentoring, but you know, there's days that come about that even I struggle. And I struggle to get to that next step. And you know, um our our, our economy changes, our our um uh, social media changes all the time and how we approach situations with people. You know, uh, even just expanding our knowledge and understanding how to read people, um, their body language. Um, you know, and I want to share, you know, yesterday, uh, Coach uh, uh, Sean McCarthy, <clears throat> he's a, a coach of mine. And, you know, guys, from an investing standpoint, for those of you, hey, Sean, thank, thanks for joining, Mike. Hi, Mike. But, hey, guys, uh, what I'm wanting to share today is a piece of my coaching uh, yesterday that I think is pretty phenomenal. And um, uh, uh, and what it was is, you know, we're, we all believe in being out around other investors, which I think is important, right? And you're out being, uh, hey Joe, thanks for joining me, guys. And we're out being around a lot of investors, right? So what do we do? We go to the RIA meetings, right? And that's where everybody hangs out. We go to the symposiums, right, where everybody hangs mm -hmm. out. And the interesting that I find, and, and, and don't take offense to this, guys, because I know a lot of you that are watching, you know, this, hey, you're getting started. And you need to reach out to, you know, a lot of people like this to get going. But, you know, I tend to find that, you know, even like myself, when I first started, you know, hey, did I have all the money in the world to go out and buy properties? Not, you know, not within the first eight, six months, eight months, a year. You know, I had to use other people's money too. And um, hey, Joe, how you doing, buddy? And so um, uh, the interesting thing that I found out was that as I'm reaching out to a lot of people that are new, and here I'm really trying to promote my business. I mean, I, I would like to see, you know, uh, more of other people's money to come into my life. To be able to help me to acquire more properties. I mean, wouldn't you all? I mean, w wouldn't you all like to have, you know, the the sources of more of other people's money to help you work through those deals? I mean, knowledge is key, right? And understanding what we want to invest in, um, where we want to invest, the type of investments we want to do. But we all know that, you know, getting some other people's money is huge. 
Well, anyway, let me get to the point that Coach Sean yesterday we spent some time on. And that was, so, Tony, if you went out to a, a Chamber of Commerce meeting, what would you look for in that Chamber of Commerce meeting? What would you look for in the people that are at that Chamber of Commerce meeting? Okay? And it was really interesting. I thought, well, gee, I don't know. I go to a Chamber of Commerce meeting. There's lots of people there, right? Um, what's going to be a telltale sign that maybe somebody is, is um, uh, there for a different purpose? They're dressed in a nice suit and tie. They're dressed to the nines, okay? Um, and, and is that kind of in any signal as an entrepreneur that maybe would want to invest with you? Or are they there just to work the crowd also, okay? And, and what's the norm today? Is the norm kind of, is it, is it business casual? Probably so. Probably so, okay? And then, of course, you're going to have the people that are maybe dressed in shorts and cutoffs and whatnot. Not to say that you're not going to not discard them, but, you know, what does that look like? So I found that to be rather interesting. And hey, Mark. Hey, buddy. Thanks for joining in. Nice to see you. And so, and so we went through those scenarios and saying, wow, okay, so is dress important? And one thing I thought about was, you know, I'd be kind of interested in saying, wow, that person looks to be very socially active, okay? They're out mingling around. They're talking to people, right? I mean, I would want to have somebody that's pretty socially active instead of somebody that's just sitting over the corner, you know, you know, being by themselves. So, you know, I thought that was pretty good to get in and, 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 and interact with these people. And... Uh, you know, and the next step was to figure out, okay, so what what am I doing there? Am I going to come up and just walk right in and say, hey, hi, I'm Tony Spandrio. I own Oklahoma Portfolio Partners or I own Cashflow Essentials. And boom, here's what I do. Okay, guys, well, you know, I, I think I've kind of taught this. And for those of you that you probably know it, it's called form. It's, it, and that's one word. Some use Ford. But the first thing, you know, you talk about is family and then occupation Okay, then recreation, and then what's the message, you know, that's out there. That, that's usually what you kind of go through and talk through. And so the interesting thing that Coach Sean explained to me was, and this is kind of pretty cool. He says, you walk up to somebody and you go, hey, my name's Tony Spandrio, and, and you know, I'm, I'm conducting a survey. And, you know, I, I kind of want to find out maybe, you know, a couple of things. One, uh, the first thing I'd like to find out with is, are you like, super happy with your financial advisor and would you be willing to give me his name and you're breaking the ice and you're gonna see what kind of conversation goes from there okay and you know they're pretty much gonna start telling you about it and you know you might follow up with the question well have you been satisfied with the performance of your financial advisor you know and and it may not be just the financial advisor thing okay Maybe you know, uh, you know, it, it, it's some other topic that that is close to your heart. You know, I mean, for me, guys, I'm, I, I, you know, financial advisors is pretty close to my heart. Maybe, hey, it'd be like, hey, you know what? I'm getting ready to buy a new fishing boat. Are, are by chance, are you a fisherman? Would you have any input on what kind of fishing boat to buy? Something that kind of breaks, you know, the ice and what, what's going on. And you know, you can literally be able to then. Take that conversation, exchange cards, get their information. Hey, Jim, how you doing? Haven't seen you in a while. Hope all's going well. Hope all's going well with the family. And hope California is being uh, nice to you out there, Jim. But thank you for joining. And so the part of, 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 of this was it, it was really intriguing to understand how to develop a rapport. And what am I doing is I'm out at a chamber, a commerce meeting, and I'm out there really kind of fishing, so to speak, for, you know, getting in front of other entrepreneurs, okay, and being specific to, to figuring out, you know, are they looking to maybe, you know, put their investments elsewhere? And I think that was the key thing by asking, are you happy with your financial advisor? Would you mind sharing who that is? Okay. And that's kind of opening up. That's a very broad question. And I'm looking at it and saying, at a Chamber of Commerce meeting, most of these people are entrepreneurs. Wouldn't you think that they would possibly 
be wanting to work their money somehow and maybe be involved with a financial advisor, you know, um, or maybe asking them, you know, the question of, you know, hey, how is your 401k doing, you know, uh, you know, and 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 and, and go at it that way. But the the key thing about this is, um, you know, is looking at how to build rapport with not just the investment community at the RIA groups and whatnot. Imagine, imagine all of the meetup groups that you can possibly go to, okay, that could be related to a specific subject that's close to your heart. And, you know, and that was one of the things that we talked about is, you know, you want something, and maybe it's a sport, you know, that you're really into that you can break the ice with and start the conversation with. But, you know, I, 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 really, felt, I really felt, you know, impelled by my coach that says, wow, you know, these are some things that maybe I didn't think about. And and I can tell you that I've had I've had three or four business coaches, guys. I mean, there's somebody on here right now, Jim. Jim, you know, I was coached by Jim before I became a coach and mentor for um, you know, uh, uh Elite Legacy and, and Rich Dad. And and Jim, it was a phenomenal, phenomenal time that we spent up in Redding, California. And and I've always respected you. But see that that's the thing is that I've had lots of coaches and, and whether it's been in investing or a business coach. Um another one, a media coach. Okay. Now for me, a media coach is, is taking it to a whole different level. Um, you know, I won't get into it, but I, I do have my book. My book's done. My book's done. I got it back from the editor today. Yesterday we had a photo shoot. I'm super excited about it. Uh, had a photo shoot, so we're getting ready to design our, our the cover, and, and I hope to release that soon. But uh, a media coach. Now, a media coach, very specific for me, and that I have Oklahoma Portfolio Partners. We're selling turnkey properties in Oklahoma, specifically Tulsa and Oklahoma City. And, and it's important on how I get that information out, okay? And, and, and she's very specific for that, okay? My new business coach, I mean, he's going to be helping me with sales. I mean, guys, I hate to say this. You know what? I need to close sales. I need to do a better job of that. I think that's one reason why um, um, I'm reading so many books. And, 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 and my business coach, I mean, we talked about that. And, and I find it interesting. Some of the studies are, do you know that, that the average American may read one book a year? One book a year. It may, may not even get through it. And my goal is, is a book a week. I swear to God, a book to week. Hey, hey Mike. Hey, buddy, thanks. Um, and, um, and a book a week. And you kind of go, what? A book a week? How in the world are you going to do that, Tony? Well, for me, it's audible. It really is. But you know, guys, I've cut out, I have cut out the news at night. I've cut out the reality TV, Survivor, Bachelor. I've cut these things out, you know. And, and uh, I've been picking up a lot more Grant Cardone's books, you know, on, on, on the 10X rule and, and be obsessed or be average. I've talked about these before. And, you know, I listen at about 1.3 speed, and I've got my brain conditioned. It takes time, okay? But as my coach was teaching me, you know, this type of, of input into you from very positive sources like that is huge. Uh, another recent book, um, The Power of Broke by Damon uh, John off the Shark Tank. Incredible. He has his, his, saying, his saying, rise and grind. You know, guys, I tell you what, this morning, gosh, 4 o'clock, I'm up. And I'm going, man, I got to get some, some more systems and processes in place for my business. And I'm, I'm at home working away, you know. And, um, uh, you know, and in the beginning, as an entrepreneur, you know, you may need to put in those 80 hours. You may need to put in those 80-hour work weeks to get you where you want to go. It's going to pay off. It's going to pay off. You know, have you heard of the book, um, The 4-Hour Work Week by Tim Ferriss? Dude, hey, that's where I want to go. Absolutely. But... Back to the, the, the thing with coaching. Um, I can remember I had a business coach that was very analytical. He actually came out of, out of IBM. And, you know, he made me run my numbers based on the, the products I had, what we were selling, the frequency, and all of that stuff. Okay? And, and, and that was great. He was a wonderful coach. Coach John was, was absolutely phenomenal with that. And as we go, we're going to change. Guys, you know just like writing your goals, right? 
You can write your goals, three months later, they're gonna change, and that's okay. Maybe it's every 30 days it's gonna change, okay? I'm gonna challenge you guys, you need to get out there and write your goals, okay? I tell you what, if you would like me to be your accountability coach for 30 days, 30 days, you could hear from me. Guys, just send me over um, a private message on Facebook if you would. Let me know if you'd like to sign up I would be your 30-day accountability coach. Just to keep you on track for 30 days, okay? Free, I'm not gonna charge it. I wanna be your accountability coach, okay? We can interact. Just ask me for that, okay? Um, and, um, and let's see. So the other thing with my new coach, Coach Sean, is um, uh, analytics and understanding analytics. You know, I never realized how important that was when it comes to analytics and your Facebook post or your LinkedIn post and running analytics, you know, um, off of Google. And it's really important to know the people that are seeing your posts that are going out there and, and the things that are happening today. Um, and I've told you guys this before, you know, I've, I've received, I have received, you know, deals that have come off of social media. You know, we just closed on uh, a house that we did in Windsor, you know, which again, you know, I don't want to be repetitive here, but it was one in which um, somebody off of social media knew my wife. And they came to us and said, hey, we would like to, you know, take over, uh, 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 excuse me, um, I just saw something pop up in front of me here. But no, they said, hey, we would like you to give us a hand and what could you do to help us out of the situation? And uh, because they knew that's what we specialized in. You know, we helped them. And we found them a place. We bought them some furniture, uh, and you know, and they, they were very you know extremely happy with that. But um, you know, back on on the coaching stuff, you know, uh, I'm moving forward. Um, I'm going to meet my coach once a month, every month, for the next you know uh, six months. And um, you know, we're doing a lot of things you know specific. I'm, I'm really excited. Um, the gentleman talks as fast as I do. You know, I mean, I'm a very excitable person, and, and I love to get going here. And um, but but I think that's uh, that's really phenomenal for many of you that's taking a lot of classes. Whether you're a fortune builder student, you're a rich dad student, um, you know, uh, Dean Grazioso, Amanda Matalango, I don't care who you're with, guys. You know, the importance of uh, of a coach to keep you on track is huge. You know, I, I do want to give a shout out to one of my students, Christo, out of Atlanta. You know, guys, you know, I went out and I did coach him for, for three days, and, and he's been doing a phenomenal job. He came back and he really, he asked me, that, or he said something to me the other day, and he says, Tony, he says, I really couldn't have gotten here without you and what you've done. You know, and that, that, you know, that, sorry, I did it. It feels real. You know, it really does. You know, and, um. Sorry about this, guys. <laughs> but, you know, I, I look back at Robert Kiyosaki when I, you know, got into the program back in 2010. And, um, hey, I wouldn't be here today, you know, you know, without him. Sorry. <laughs> I just, you know, I, I just think that's really cool. You know, we do. So, guys, listen, um, you know, I want to reach out today to, today to you to tell you, you know, your business coach is important. You know, search out one and, and get out there. Get, get somebody on your team um, and, and, and keep your energy going, okay? Keep it going. Keep that excitement going. You know, um, uh, we, were, we were out in Tampa. Uh, my wife and I were out in Tampa um, about a week, week and a half ago. And, and I met another gentleman. He was actually inducted into the, the Hall of Fame. And, and John, if you're listening, you'll know who I'm talking about. And, uh, you know, his point was is that, you know, people are going around saying, oh, there's no good deals out there. Oh, there's nothing out there. You know, that's your mindset. And that's the wrong mindset, okay? And again, you know, I could kick myself in the butt sometimes when I used to talk about marketing. Market, 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 right? Get your letters out. Get your postcards out. For those of you that are on this call that I have coached you, you know that's important. And you know what? I'm doing it. I got 500 letters going out tomorrow. 500. I have been consistently doing this. Okay? You've got to be consistent in your marketing. You guys know that. Christo, there you are. You just came on. Dude, I was just talking about you. I'm not going to tell you what I said because you're going to have to go back and listen to the video, okay? Because I got teared up, all right? Because, dude, you know what? You, you made me feel really good. You really did. So, guys, listen. Um, you know, I've got a call to be on here in five minutes. 
um, I'm actually talking to my general contractor that is in Tulsa and so I'm out there uh, uh, working with them on, on getting some stuff going in the Oklahoma market super excited about that um, and guys, I just I, again I, I want to to express to you, oh don't say ha ha Tony. You need to watch the video, Crystal. I'm telling you, buddy. <laughs> I'm telling you, it, it was it was. Hey, I think I think you're doing really phenomenal, Crystal. I really do, and and I appreciate all the comments that you you did uh, you know relate back to me. So uh, you're doing fantastic. But guys, um, uh, think about that business coach, okay? And um, and, and again. Uh, you know, ask me. I'd be happy to share being a, your accountability coach for 30 days. You know, and basically, you're just you're going to get an email from me every day. Is what you're going to do, and I expect some re, re responses back. Okay, and uh, Jim, hey, thanks, buddy, for just turning in. And um, hey, guys, send me a quick note if you would about uh, if you'd like a copy of my book. I will send out a free copy of my book signed to those who respond on this video. You just got to send me a private message so you can get on the list. Should be out and published here by um, uh, in about 30 days. It's called Cashflow Essentials: The Ultimate Guide to Real Estate Investing, and I'm really super excited. It's about 200 pages. Uh, can't wait to let it go. Well, guys, listen. I really enjoyed seeing you all here today and, 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 and just heed my word on a business coach, okay? Even if it's small steps, find somebody that you can talk to that can help you through the tough times and you're going to get through it, all right? So guys, thank you very much. Like, share my videos, share my videos with your friends, tell them about it, and let's give them some encouragement, okay? You guys have a great rest of the week, okay? Take care now. Goodbye.